Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Oaks, Pennsylvania, and right now we're at the 422 Business Center outside of um, PD Home Office Showroom, uh, PD Home and Garden. Check out these giant PD signs. These are really awesome. I'm hoping they eventually put these up somewhere and light them up. I don't know if they still actually light. Look at all the neon inside these. That's pretty awesome. I don't know if these were actually up anywhere. I, I don't remember these ever being on the side of a building somewhere, but um, if they're going to put these up, that'd be pretty awesome. But we're not here to necessarily take a look at the, the giant PD neon signs, as cool as they are. We're also not here to take a look at this amazing old truck. This is a Dodge something. I have no idea what um, type of vehicle this is other than a Dodge. Look at the what is this? Established 1915 Geo J Bauer and Sons. That's pretty awesome. In Philadelphia, this is really cool. Sheet metal, look at that. I, I'm actually really curious to know what kind of um, truck this is. I have no idea. I do not see a marking on it other than just Dodge. If you guys know what kind of truck this is, let me know down below because that is pretty awesome looking. There's a, oh my gosh, I just realized there's a tree actually growing up through it. This, so clearly this has been here for a really, really long time. I wonder if it's actually been here for longer than this um, PD, was it PD Home and Gardens has been here. I'm not entirely sure. I don't actually know if this has anything to do with PD Home and Gardens. I have no idea why this is here, but I'm guessing it's been here for a very long time as that truck definitely has a tree growing up through it. That is pretty awesome looking. But again, are we here to take a look at PD signs? Are we here to take a look at trucks? No, no we're here to take a look at something that's actually up this little embankment here, but I just want to show you guys these because they're pretty cool. They're here. If you see something interesting, that's buy something also interesting you're taking a look at. You got to show off everything. We're also not here to show off what's in front of us, but I don't want to give away what we're here to see. So I'm going to get a little bit closer to this. This is just really neat. I don't know what this is for. There's a, um, a trailer on the back of this vehicle here. Look at this thing. An old, like, like kind of like circus trailer. That's pretty awesome looking. But again, we're not here to take a look at the circus trailer. There's actually something really awesome here outside of Arnold's go-karts, Arnold's family, I think it's Arnold's Family Fun Center. I think it's the actual name of it. Yes, it is right here. Arnold's Family Fun Center. I've actually never been to Arnold's. They have go-karts, they have bowling, they have all kinds of fun things. And there's an arcade inside there. You can, not, not inside here, inside, inside there. You can enjoy, I have actually been to the water tower before which i think is part of arnold's if i'm not mistaken there's bowling in there and i've been in there for a show uh, i saw cybertronic spree which is a really awesome band check them out they actually dress up like characters from transformers they play all kinds of cool retro music lots of covers of 80s and 90s theme songs all kinds of amazing shows really really cool band so i've technically been inside the water tower before but i've never been inside arnold's but here at arnold's there's something pretty awesome outside that I want to show you guys because this is really, really neat. If you're a big fan of muffler men, you do not know what a muffler man is. A muffler man is a statue that used to show off mufflers. They used to put, <laughs> is, it, is it really warm? It is really warm. A muffler man is a statue they used to put outside of um, all kinds of different uh, establishments that uh, like garages, garages and whatnot and car places because they wanted to show off that they had mufflers, I guess, or whatnot. Anyway, they would usually be holding mufflers. Sometimes you see these guys holding axes, holding other things. I've seen ones that are, hold, are holding a rocket ship. I've seen ones that are holding giant um, hot dogs before. I've seen these holding all kinds of things, but they're known as muffler men because usually they held mufflers. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about right now. Check out this giant Alfred E. Newman muffler man. How cool is that? The half wit himself, Alfred E. Newman. Look at this thing. So as you can see by his hands, one hand is kind of out like this. The other hand is gripping something. So that would actually hold a muffler. If you've never seen a muffler, it is kind of like, like the muffler and the pipes come out of the bottom and up the top. So one hand would be holding the bottom of the muffler, the actual like muffler would be right there and then the other pipe would be coming out inside that hand so they would hold mufflers but as you can see they could clearly hold other things like well a giant hot dog or an axe i've seen like paul bunyan ones of these where they're holding giant axes so pretty awesome this is actually from seaside heights unfortunately back in 2012 hurricane sandy came through and just just demolished sea seaside heights in new jersey the boardwalk was torn up and the beach was like eroded it it did a number on Seaside Heights, and this was actually there on the boardwalk. Apparently this was pretty badly damaged. It had fallen down, it was in disrepair, but Arnold's actually took it, they bought it, and they repaired it and put it outside 
of their establishment. And I think that is so awesome of them. Look at that. Why is it Alfred E. Newman from Mad Magazine? I have no idea. If you know, leave a comment down below, but still that is pretty cool. And as you can see, this thing is giant. I mean, look, look at this thing. It is huge. Here, Sean, get up, uh, get up right next to it. I know it's very, very warm outside here. Look at this thing. Look at, seriously, look at that. Whoa. He does not even come up to his knee. That is insane. Yes, it is very warm outside. We need to get some lunch. That's where we're actually heading to lunch right now. We're very, very hungry. We will be getting food very soon, but we had to stop by here and take a look at this giant Alfred E. Newman Muffler Man statue. Again, one standing outside of Seaside or standing on the boardwalk of Seaside Heights, New Jersey, damaged in the 2012 Hurricane Sandy storm that came through and then repaired and put outside of Arnold uh, Family Fun Center. That is too cool. There's also this interesting giant giraffe. This I do not know the story of. I have no idea where the giant giraffe came from. Maybe also Seaside Heights. Can you stand under that, under that one? Look at that. Sean can fit underneath the giant giraffe. Don't get peed on, be careful. So that's pretty cool. Again, I don't know where this came from. Maybe also Seaside Heights. I am not sure. If you guys know where the giant giraffe came from, if anybody knows, leave a comment down below because I would love to know where this giant giraffe came from. It looks like something you would see at, oh, can I, I can stand underneath it too. Look at this. I can barely, I'm almost about to touch. I can barely stand underneath this. I don't want to get peed on either though. Looks like something you would see at a um, miniature golf course. That's what I'm thinking. My money's on miniature golf course, which would also put my money towards maybe Seaside Heights or the Jersey Shore in general because when you go to the Jersey Shore, any Jersey Shore, any boardwalk, any Jersey town, they pretty much all have their own sort of like kitschy um, golf course, a miniature golf course. And I could totally see this at a kitschy miniature golf course somewhere at the Jersey Shore. That is pretty cool, but I don't know where that came from. Still, it's pretty awesome that he's standing right next to this giant Alfred E. Newman Muffler Man statue. So if you're a big fan of Muffler Man statues, I know there's people out there who literally travel from Muffler Man to Muffler Man to Muffler Man. These things are all over the United States. You can find these just everywhere. I come, I, I drive past these every so often when I'm out and about. And from now on, if I see a Muffler Man statue, I will be pulling over and showing it to you guys. Hopefully one day we'll actually find one that's holding a muffler and I can show that to you so I can actually give you guys a proper um, like showing of, of, of him, of one of these actually holding a muffler and how that exactly works. But there is one here in Oaks, Pennsylvania. So that is pretty awesome. So yes, if you are a big fan of Muffler Man, if you travel around, if you go to seeing every single Muffler Man, you have to stop out here in Oaks, Pennsylvania to see the, the Alfred E. Newman Muffler Man that once stood at Seaside Heights, on the Seaside Heights Boardwalk in New Jersey, but now stands here in Oaks, Pennsylvania, outside of Arnold's Family Fun Center. Go inside, you can ride, ride some go-karts, you can play some, um, you can do some bowling, and I don't, I, don't, I, can't, I don't know what's inside there. There's an arcade in there, apparently. One of these days, maybe I'll have to take you to Arnold's go-karts. One of these days. You wanna go inside there and ride some go-karts? <laughs> He's just like, I just want some Burger King. I, pro I promise you, we're gonna, get, we're gonna get Burger King. That's, that's where we're heading. So anyway, guys. Alfred E. Newman, totally awesome. Giant giraffe as well. Looks like he's feeding them. They should put like a like a feed bag in his hand or maybe like an app. Oh, they should, they should give him like an apple, right? They should put like an apple in his hand because it looks like he's feeding the giraffe. That's what I think should happen. Arnold, if you're- Why does it have to be an apple? I mean, it doesn't. What, what would, okay, what would you have the Alfred E. Newman Muffler Man feed the giant giraffe? Fed. What? Fed. Fed? You would have him feed him fed? What is fed? A <laughs> fed? Are, are, is, is the heat getting to you? We will, wow, we're gonna have to get you food really, we're gonna have to get you fed really soon. I think the heat and the, the lack no, of, the lack I, of lunch is I getting to you. I don't know what it's called, it's F-E-E-D. Feed. Feed. Oh, feed, That's all right. Fed. So you wanna give him, so it's like a bag of feed? Yeah. All right. Actually, sense. I think they, they usually feed giraffes um, in, in the, at the zoos. They usually feed them um, a cabbage or something like that, or lettuce, right? Yeah, they should just do it with, there you go. with giraffe feet. He should be holding a giant head of lettuce. I mean, you can see the giraffe is looking at his hand, thinking, thinking where's my food? He's, he's, he has that look on his face. He's kind of like, um, dude, what, what's going on? I'm hungry. You have your hand out. There's nothing in your hand. You're, you're tricking me. I don't blame him. He's got that look, that inquisitive look in his eye. I don't blame him, but all right, guys. So that's going to do it. Just wanted to bring you out here to Oaks, Pennsylvania. Get outside 
of Arnold's Family Fun Center to show you the giant giraffe and most definitely the giant Alfred E. Newman Muffler Man statue. Totally cool. And with that, we're gonna go get you some feed, right? Or fed, we're gonna go get you some fed. Let's go get you on some fed, because it's really, it is, it, we're still in the middle of a heat wave. It is brutally warm out here. It's hot, you yep. squeeze me. And, and we need- just sitting here, just talking. We need, we need to get some lunch. Yeah, we're gonna go to Burger King, get, get ourselves some delicious hamburgers, because we are starving, so. All right, guys, that's it. So, again, get out here to Oaks Pencil. Oh, God. That's what I was gonna Oh, say. God. What is that? So, right, right over there, that building right there is a um, sewer sewage treatment plant, and um, it smells like poop. The, w <laughs> the wind just started blowing in this direction. So, fair warning: if you do come out here to Oaks, Pennsylvania, to see the giant Alfred E. Newman Muffler Man statue, be warned that the wind is blowing in this direction. You might smell the sewage treatment plant right over there. That is that is disgusting. We yeah okay, we're getting out of here now. We're gonna get some food. And we're getting out of here. We're gonna have this heat. We're gonna have the smell. And we're gonna get some food. So, all right, guys, again. Get out here to Oak, Pennsylvania at Arnold Family Fun Center at the 422 Business Center to check out the giant Alfred E. Newman statue and the, uh, the giant giraffe that he is not feeding. Arnold's put some cabbage in his hand. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check down below for all the different links, check down below for my new Patreon. Um, this channel now has, a, yep. Ed Warding, if you come here, it'll probably smell really good. <laughs> so check down below for the new um, What's With Day Today Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, you help support the show, put some gas inside Vanderbilt so we can come out to new, cool, fun places like this. I will send you a monthly postcard for my visits all over the road. I will sign them and write something nice. Maybe Sean will sign some of them too. Yeah, Maybe we'll, I'll probably do that. We'll see. Who, who knows what's going to happen? But you guys you will. Have one, right? I have two. We have two uh, pa patrons now. Um, it's only been up for <laughs> it's only been up for two days. I already got two patrons. So. If you guys do that, you will get yourself a monthly postcard. And if you guys subscribe, you'll see a video tomorrow. So, all right, I will see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Oh, God, it stinks so bad out here. All right. I'll just say bye like this. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Have a good one. All right, bye.